Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Now you're probably thinking, Smithy, what is this new series? And secondly, what the hell is that on your head? You don't have hair. Why has your character got hair? Well, the second thing, um, I just fancied changing it up. And the first thing is we're doing another hardcore. <laughs> So we are back with the Red Helm um, after five years of playing a normal Iron Man after Darok decided to uh, send us back to Lumbridge on the original hardcore that I had. Um, I'm not planning any real fancy restrictions or, you know, region locks or chunk man mode or anything like that. Um, but I will be focusing my gaming around the collection log. Now, there are... Where are we? There are 1,491 uh, 1, things on the collection log, which is way more than when we first started off um, five, nearly six years ago on the uh, Smithy Hardcore Iron Man, now known as Dead Smithy. There's a lot of stuff that I've learned between now and then. Uh, back when I first started my first hardcore, I didn't have a bloody clue what was going on. Uh, I hadn't played the game in years, and it was me coming back and uh, re relearning everything, which is ultimately why we died in such a... I don't want to say a silly way, because Darok has claimed a lot of lives, but yeah, I want to uh, push the boat out. I want to um, expand the horizons. I want to test myself push it to the limit and, 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 and push it to the limit and um, yeah, see how far we can get with a hardcore. And I probably should say as well, the uh, Dead Smithy series is still going to be happening. It's still going to be the main focus on this channel. It's still going to be the Sunday evening upload that I do every single week. This series is going to be sort of a Wednesday upload um, that I work on um, sort of alongside the Dead Smithy project. So don't worry about that. It's not going anywhere. This is uh, more content. Woo! More content on the channel. But anyway, I've waffled a lot. I feel bad if I move. Actually, no, they're level 49. They can take out a uh, <laughs> a man NPC. And uh, we're going to get our first level on the account. So let's go. I did actually have this idea. Um, I, I'm looking back at my recording. I think about two years ago. If anyone remembers the uh, the charity um, account that I made, the uh, Eggy Boy hardcore that I had the 24 hour challenge for. If you've not seen that, there's a playlist on the channel, you can go and check it out. Where I had 24 hours in-game time to make the best hardcore I could do I could make possible. And um yeah, I was I I mean I did record hot like two thirds of an episode of that where we uh we were doing this very premise of collection log oriented stuff. And there we go, there is our first level. Um but that account wasn't from scratch. It was carrying on from where that 24 hours had left off. And I don't know. I've just had that itch to do a hardcore. Um, I did put a little poll up on the channel a little while back and uh, everyone said, yeah, I'd like to see a new hardcore. So here we are. So the too long didn't read of this account is a hardcore completionist. Um, like I said, I want to complete as much of the collection log before we die, um, which is it's, it's an inevitable, like Thanos, isn't it? I am inevitable. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want to complete as much of the collection log as possible on this hardcore. And uh, yeah, we'll be working our way through all of those lovely green uh, slots and uh, ticking them off as we go. And just to say as well, uh, we will be doing sort of with this series some uh, kind of mini games within the series of what we did with like Wheelscape, where one week we'll be putting a bunch of shit on a wheel, spinning it, and then we've got to go and do what the wheel does. Maybe some episodes we do region locked and try out how that plays out. <laughs> we lock ourselves without a bank and go and get as many slots as we can in a set area, for example. Now, I don't want to completely lock the series um, because what I found with doing you know restricted accounts before, I find personally it gets really boring and then you you, you kind of have to like stop resenting playing the account. So the kind of idea of this one is that it's a challenge mode series that has the ultimate goal of completing as many collection logs. Um, now, if you want to throw some challenges at me and you want to see me suffer some pain 
um, drop them in the comments. <laughs> because I think with this account, I want to have a lot of fun with it. I don't want it to be, um, you know, a real tedious kind of grind or whatever like that. Wh whatever, you know, you. the whole point of gaming is having fun. And that's what this series is going to be. It's going to be fucking about completing the collection log and, uh, yeah, doing some sort of, uh, what do you call it? Challenges set by you guys at home uh, in the comment section. And now some challenges could be like, I have to go and complete uh, or go and obtain a certain collection log from um, Dark in the Discord has just said, aerial fishing because um, fuck me, right? <laughs> so things like that in the comments, challenges that I can go and do and uh, yeah, get some slots clogged because we're clogging baby it's like we're in holland with all these clogs up in here that's that's my clogs going across the floor <laughs> i'm not mad yet i swear i promise <laughs> but that is enough of me chatting absolute shite um, and I hope it's all clear on what we're going to be doing with this series and I hope you guys are ex ex as excited as I am um, I think it's about time that we go and try and get our first log slot um, I don't know what that is yet I'm thinking about it that's what the pause was for <laughs> right um, I'm, while I'm literally here I'm going to start the um, X Marks the Spot quest which I don't actually think I've have I had it as a brand new account where uh, I do this quest? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to do this. And um, yeah, we get a beginner clue at this. So if we can start off with a... Uh, can start off with a collection log from that. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Hey, oh, there we go. There is our first quest completed. X marks the spot. Very nice indeed. We get one quest point, antique lamp, 200 coins, and a beginner clue scroll for doing it. And oh, look. Oh, I didn't catch her name. But... Um, there you go. <laughs> now, can we put this on anything? Uh, I'd like to put it on agility. If I can skip a few levels, that'd be great. And there's level four. Sick. Um, let's have a look at this. Drain or market. We can do that one. Right. This should be it done. Right. <laughs> Definitely already making me miss uh, having teleports. But anyway, can we get our first collection log slot completed with this beginner clue? No, 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 we can't. But anyway, we've got ourselves 22 Earth Rooms. Woo! Yeah! That's pretty shit. Isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, Operation uh, Collection Log Slot 1 um, is a go, go, go. I have a plan for what we're going to do first. And um, before we do that, I need to go and get some levels. So I'll see you when we're. Um, Checking off that first checkbox for being able to go and do it. Right, can you guess what I'm going to go and be doing? There's 15 fishing, which means we've unlocked the biggest thing for the account so far. Anchovies, I know, fucking steady on. I hope you were sitting down when I dropped that bombshell. Um, yeah, the first... Uh, uh, I think he said s slog. Uh, clog spot or... Imp they need an input whatever first thing we're going for is something at temporos um and then after we've kicked off with our first collection uh slot completed um i think we're going to spin a wheel um we're going to kick off with a little challenge after we get our uh we christen the account with our first uh entry so um yeah i'm going to whack a few things in the wheel and then we're uh once we're done at temporos and um We'll give it a spin. But yeah, I need to get 35 fishing. Currently 15. Uh, we are going to get slightly better rates now that we're catching anchovies. And um, yeah, we're moving and a grooving in the right direction. I'm thinking though, we are... Oh, I'm not going to sit here doing shrimp and anchovies for uh, hours on end to get to 35. I do want to switch over to um, fly fishing once I get to level 20 so we can start doing trout. Uh, also means we can start stocking up trout for um, Mr. Charlie the Tramp for when we start doing beginner clues. Uh, because, yeah, you, you need to give in cooked trout for uh, one of his requests um, <laughs> that you have on be on the beginner clue steps. But, uh, yeah, we're going to need to get some cash because I'm going to need to buy feathers. I'm going to need to buy a fishing rod or fly fishing rod. Um, so I'm currently brainstorming that as well. Um, 
Tempros does give money, but you know, at that point we've we've done what we needed. Does Tempros give money? I think he does. Anyway, once we've uh, got to that point, we we kind of already forgotten about f- feathers and fishing rods. So uh, yeah. But anyway, that level came in incredibly fast compared to all the other ones. So uh, already moving up. Hey, oh, there we go. There is twenty fish, and means we can now do trout. Um, what I have been doing is selling. Oh, he's cooking up my fish. Or can you sea urchins? We'll call them sea urchins. Cooking them up, selling them at the uh, general store. I do have two hundred coins in the bank, or just over, because of the uh, cash we got from doing X marks the spot. One feather costs two coins. Um, I reckon you know we can buy. Yeah, we can buy some. <laughs> uh, and a fly fishing rod only costs five coins. So we can stock up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how many fish that we need to get to get to 35, but there's only one way to find out, right? Right, 363 coins. How much is a feather pack? 200. Hold on, 200. Oh, that makes sense. Like, let's buy one of them. And let's spam this. Nice. 100... <laughs> 171 feathers! It's almost enough for one chicken, isn't it? <laughs> so I know I probably could do uh, killing chickens to get feathers, but I kind of want to keep my combat low at the moment. Just for the, like, you know, the first couple of days. Keep it low, keep it chill, you know? Happy days. But uh, yeah, at some point I will... Uh emulate uh, what goes on behind the scenes at KFC. I don't want to say we're gaming, but uh, <laughs> I think we are. Hey, there is a nice little milestone, 100 total level. Very nice indeed. Right, I didn't expect this to be our uh, first letter, lot of um, collection log slots done, but... I didn't get anything. Oh, what? We've been scammed! We got on a moat and not a bloody mime top or something. Oh. I genuinely feel scammed. All right, fuck it, a cave. I'm killing all the chickens. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to uh, use this to uh, get some more feathers. Oh, God, that was a race against time. I didn't think we'd be able to... <laughs> it literally come down to the last feather of us being able to get 35. There we go, we can now uh, harpoon tuna and we can go and do temperos, which is what we're going to go and do now. Um, yeah, only going to use this to do that one trip to go and get more feathers, which uh, is pretty nice. Um, yeah, came down to the wire though. Love a bit of tense, tense gaming moments. Right, here we go, we're at the uh, big sea monster, the big spooky fish. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've only been doing this solo on my main, and like my iron main. Um, so doing it in teams again, um, it's probably gonna throw me off. <laughs> right, there's our first KC. We have got two permits. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> you know what? We're gonna we're gonna full send it. We're gonna go straight straight in and uh, see if we can get something. Imagine if we get the pet like instantly. Imagine. All right, there's some raw pike and yay! Spirit Flakes, that is a collection log, but it didn't pop up because I don't have the setting turned on. So, there we go. The first item has been penciled in on our collection log, and I am going to turn on that pop-up because that is really anticlimactic. <laughs> right, there we go. They're on now. Whoops. Whoopsie. Right, I'm going to do a few more KC, and then we're going to get that wheel up, and we're going to give it a spin. Um to pick what activity we do next because I want to get that involved in the first episode so you guys can see how it's going to work uh, for when we use it sort of throughout the series. But um, yeah, ah, it's nice getting it on uh, literally our second uh, permit. Is it permit or permit? How do you pronounce it? I've just said permit and I'm like, it's permit, isn't it? I don't know. More spirit flakes. Woo! And some, some planks, which... Uh, we're not doing construction yet. <laughs> right, so here is the wheel. Um, on the wheel, uh, this for this spin, we'll have 10kc at Winter Todd, completing 10 beginner clues, 10kc at Temporos, going for a mark of grace at Agility, which means we need to unlock the Drain Ore course. Um, yeah, and it's just multiple of the same four things. Um, just for an example, Will, of uh, what you can expect from this 
Uh, and obviously, taking suggestions what we can whack on there, but, you know, don't go sending me off to the wilderness just yet, please, and thank you. But anyway, what are we going to be doing? No, oh, 10 more KC at Temperos. All right, let's get it done. Oh, there's our first um, Ujima flip. You're watching the columns, the uh, combat task. That's pretty cool. Right, there we go. There is a nice round number coming in, 40 fishing. We can now do uh, what I used to do all the time when I was uh, when I used to play this back in the day, lobster fishing. Wow, riveting content, that, doing some lobster fishing. Uh, I believe that Tempros scales with your level as well, so we should start getting you know, more XP per trip. Would you call it a trip? Um, but yeah, we're getting like 10k XP an hour at the moment, which is not too shabby, Alonso, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, we've done 2kc out of the 10 thus far. Look at me using fancy lingo. Um, yeah, I'm going to do all the reward pools at the end, so uh, fingers crossed we can tick something else off the collection log. And also just to say as well, as we progress further into the series, obviously the kcs that the will, for example, tells us to do is going to be like higher than that. It's not just always going to be like 10kc. It was just uh, more to you know, get us, get the ball rolling, get the wheels turning and uh, getting some gaming on the board. Hey, and there is another easy combat task for uh, doing 5kc. Nice. Hey, oh, there is the medium combat task for getting 10kc. We've still got two more to go uh, from what the uh, wheel was wished us to do. So, um, yeah, I'll see you when we're finishing that off and then netting this reward pool. Right, we've got 12kc. We've got the uh, 10kc the wheels told us to go and get, so let's get ourselves a net and let's do these... Oh, pin, one sec. Right, where was I? Let's do these reward pools. So, so far, some real crummy fish. It's all... It's all, uh, it's all cooking XP. All right, this could be... How many did we have? 14. All right, fair enough. Some feathers. I mean, they're kind of nice. Right, so that was anticlimactic. But anyway, we've got some more spirit flakes and, you know, some good fish that we can use to get our cooking up at some point. Um, oak planks, they're kind of nice. And, uh, yeah, let's go do something else. Anyways, let's get that wheel up and see what we're going to be doing next day. Eh? Let's give it a spin. Ooh, agility, get a mark of grace. Let's go and get slot number two filled in, shall we? Right, so to do um, the d -d -d drain ore course, we need, yeah, ten. So we only need six levels. That shouldn't take too long. Um, we're going to go and do the gnome stronghold, stronghold uh, agility course. And I believe that they're actually going to be adding marks of grace to, um, or they're planning to, or polling, uh, adding marks of grace to like all of the agility courses, which is quite nice. Um, not that it's available now, which would be fantastic, uh, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait for that lovely little quality of life update. And there we go. There is level ten coming in. That didn't take long at all. Um, yeah, means we can start doing the drain or course now and working towards that mark of grace. And I'm thinking as well with the um, like once we get onto the wheel that has, you know, go and get a collection log slot at this place. Um, with things like Marks of Grace, we kind of build it up. So first one is get a Mark of Grace. Second one is go and get a piece of Graceful. So you actually have to go and, you know, complete a, uh, a full, well, gather enough um, Marks of Grace to buy, like the boots, and then we upgrade to the gloves, and then to the cape, I think, is the third cheapest, and so on and so forth. I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, just building up our uh, resources and, um, yeah, tick ticking off challenges. Right, there is the collection log slot, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I'm guessing it's up on the uh, up on the course when we go up here. Oh, there you go, there's the red. Ah, there it is, over there, sparkling. And that was our first lap, and that's a little bit anticlimactic. Anti I thought we'd take a few more laps than that, but, um, yeah. Hell yeah's in chat, please. Hell yeah's in chat. There is two slots on the log ticked off all right let's hop on down and uh pick it up you know what i might get 
a few more levels here because it's always good to get agility early on um, with run energy and all that good stuff. Hey, look, 11 agility there. Right, I've added some new bits and pieces to the wheel. Um, some of them are that we have to actually go for a brand new slot on a uh, particular log. Um, I've also factored in there some mining as well so we can start the motherload mine grind, uh, getting the prospector outfit. So let's give it a spin, shall we? And go. Do, 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 do. Beginner clues, 10 of them. All right. There is one on there for getting uh, two beginner clue log slots as well. Um, for this, I'm going to go and farm some goblins because they seem to be the best way for me to get uh, beginner clues early on. We might even get some easies along the way, so I'll be stocking those up the caskets uh, if I can get them done. Uh, but yeah, let's go do some uh, goblin slaying. Probably should show you how the stats are looking as well. So when we start this and then, you know, inevitably start getting levels because there we go, we're now four combat. Um, I did get these like all on teetering um, levels, the uh, three combat uh, melee combat stars. Because I didn't want to get a level, um, but yeah, now now we're inevitably getting levels. So <laughs> there goes that plan. Hey, yo, there is our first one. You love to see it. Oh, and a chef's hat as well. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was bones I was picking up. Um, we also got ourselves a huge game changing upgrade with a bronze square shield. Um, but yeah. Oh god, it's a Charlie the Tramp. Wish me luck. <laughs> right, we've got to uh, make a leather body. All right, for Mr. Charles uh, the uh the Tramp. Um <laughs> I don't know what that was. What is it for armor? Level 14. All right, let's go and do sheep shearer because that will give us some XP. And um, yeah, looks like we're doing a crafting grind. As if by magic, we've already got his balls of wool for him. Look at that. There you go, mate. Thank you for the crafting XP. What does that give us? Six? Th oh, three. <laughs> a little bit anticlimactic, isn't it? A whopping three, but we can now polish buttons and do some other shit. Anyway, I'm uh, going to go and commit um, war crimes on cows and stock up on the... Uh, Hides, we did just get a um, random event from uh, the wise old man, but he just gave us 600 quid, so I'm not going to turn that down. Um, yeah, it's uh, cow killing season, apparently. Right, we're getting way more XP for a set of gloves than I thought we would. Um, yeah, very nice. So uh, hopefully we can fly through this inventory and um, get a few levels, and then I might switch over to doing glass um, because we'll hopefully unlock some better XP stuff from glass. But uh, yeah. First inventory, I think we reckon we'll probably get around seven, maybe, or six, I don't know. Maths, maths is hard, right, maths is difficult. All right, the crafting XP has upped its game and is indeed going brrr. Um, yeah, we're making molten glass, I've got 50 of these, so uh, yeah, we uh, should hopefully get to 14. This is like a proper operation, <laughs> trying to get these early crafting animals, and I know I can probably do some quests, but... If you know me, I don't like questing. So, um, yeah, we're pushing that back until I put some quests on that wheel and forced to do them. Yeah, I don't know why I sodded around doing leather. Uh, <laughs> there is 14 means we can now make the uh, leather body. I'm going to finish off making these uh, oil lamps. I've got like 50 of them I can make, which should give us some nice levels. Right, there we go. Oh, there we go. One banged it. Uh, you know what? To celebrate, let's open it. Oh, mate, we are dripped out. We are dripped out. <laughs> Nine more to go, though. Oh, exciting times while we're hunting for our next uh, beginner clue. Um, frog random event. If this could die, thank you very much. Let's speak to the frog. Uh, yep, I'll transform you. There we go, frog token, get it on there. Lovely. So we don't get um, a collection log slot for the actual... Um, items themselves so i'm just going to get myself the best in slot that we can possibly have right now the frog mask look at this absolute unit <laughs> right our first three step one anyway i'm just going to crack this one open okay nothing there <laughs> i think there's useful for what we're doing at the moment i mean i know longbow's cool but and a water staff but 
I kind of want a weapon that I can use. Anyway, eight to go. Uh, I think I might save these ones up and uh, then spam through them. Right, while I'm at a bank, I've actually got uh, an easy clue that I've managed to do one step off so far. And I'm pretty sure we can do the second step, but... Um, I'm going to have to go and faff about getting a raw herring. So um, I've got two. I'm going to open them up, see if there's anything in there that's useful. Number one. Oh, there we go. First log slot on the beginner clues. Love to see it. Sandwich lady hat. And the next one, yeah, back to trash. But anyway, look at that. Very nice. And I make that. Uh, no clues, boom. Six more to go. Hey, you just managed to finish that easy cut, uh, easy clue. So uh, let's open the casket while we're walking over. And oh god, that is shite, isn't it? But eight law runes. We can't scoff at that. A willow longbow. Cool. Um. <laughs> right. Anyway, as you were. Oh, this is a nice little sight. While we're uh, trying to do an easy clue. Boom. Hey. Bzzz, the beekeeper boots, bzzz. Right, managed to get a another easy casket. I'm going to open that up. Ooh, okay, that's good. Black sword, that's an upgrade. And an amulet of magic. We don't have an ami, so why not put that on? Um, I do have these three beginner clues. I, so before anyone asked uh, or says, why are you doing goblins for uh, getting your clues? I mean, we've killed 362 of them. We've had seven beginners and we've had two easies. That's not bad going, if you ask me. But I am going to open up these beginners as well because I'm impatient. <laughs> so here's the first one. Not very good. Second one. Not very good. Third one. Not very good. Hopefully the next three are all right. Fingers crossed, though. Yeah, as if by magic, it must know that I'm opening them. <laughs> there we go. There's another one. Um, also, we're getting some really nice levels. Um, where we were training with that bronze spear, it means that we were training all three kind of in parallel. Um, yeah, we're up to 20 combat now. Right, there we go. There's Cook's assistant done. Uh, one quest point for doing that. And uh, some Cook and XP, but we're quite... You know, decent level now. Anyway, uh, I had the um, cook step, so I thought I'd do Cook's assistant while I was all in, <laughs> while I'm in the same place. See, and people say I'm inefficient. That's efficiency right there. Right, we've got the final three. Let's open our first one. Trash. Terrible. Awful. <laughs> it's nice to see our uh, our uh, clue luck is off to a beautiful start. Uh, that should now be 11 on the log. Yeah, there we go. There are the 10 that the wheel was told us to go and get. But anyways, that is going to do it for the first episode of uh, the series. I'm still, like, trying to figure out what to call it. Um, but you guys will have seen the title uh, for when this goes up. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting fully stuck into this account. This is how the stats are currently looking. And here's the uh, the other stats page as well. Really looking forward to uh, you guys' challenges as well, so drop them down below in the comment section. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing. And drop a like as well to let me know that you guys uh, are liking this series. Uh, I'm going to be recording episode 2 before this goes up, so if we get 100 likes in episode 1, I'll upload this a couple of days after the first episode goes up. And a shout out to all of our channel members of Will, Steve, Super Beef, Made, AJ, Helena, Thainscape, Rayleigh, Chair, Raw, Johnny, Gim, Colder, Celestine, Snot Bones, AOT, Paul, and Emma. If you want to get involved with the membership program, join button down below. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.